today we're going to work on the ACE Climbers spreadsheet and we're going to sort data, we're going to filter it, subtotal it, create a chart and then a trend, a trend line. It sounds an awful lot but you'll be amazed at how quickly you can do this. First of all, please keep your original data intact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy. Now, the sheet name original data 2 isn't very helpful and I think probably putting in sort, filter, subtotal is just a bit big. So how about just subtotals? I think that would help us. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data I need. I'm not going to put this in. I actually just put this in um, to start with because I was demoing something to a student and I'm not going to put this in because when you sort it actually just confuses the data. So all I'm going to do so I'm going to highlight this data here, get into data, get into sort, and it already has my data, has headers, and I'm going to sort by market, and it's going to be A to Z, and that's okay. So right away, data looks much easier to understand because we have the market in England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales and you could further sort it into boxes of 24 or our product name or whatever you wanted to do but that's that's all we need to do at the moment. So now I'm going to filter. You can use an advanced filter and it will give you exactly the same results as an ordinary filter so I'm just going to use an ordinary filter for this. So again data filter and I'm going to only look at Scotland and Wales. So filtering allows us to look at specific data and I'm only interested in the 24 box sets. I want to say okay. So sorting and filtering enables us to look at specific data. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a subtotal. So this is still highlighted. I'm just going to subtotals and I'm not going to total at the change of product name, I want to change it. The, the, I want to subtotal the change of the market. So under Scotland, we'll have a subtotal, and under Wales. So let's take that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up an awful lot of figures here. So I'm going to add up all of these. Please make sure that you take all of these. It's quite time consuming, but it's not as bad as having to go into it again because you missed one. So just take your time and make sure they are all ticked. Replace current subtotals you can leave. There isn't one. It won't make any difference. Page breaks. The data just isn't big enough to be bothered with that. And the summary below, I like that because we're used to counting up and putting the, the sum at the bottom of what we're counting. So that, that's much, much easier for us to understand. So I'm going to leave this and I'm going to say OK. And here we are. So we can actually subtotal and see the sales figures for Scotland, for Wales and a grand total and that took seconds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a chart for these figures. Charts show you, you get an overall image of what's happening with figures here in a chart. It makes it much easier to understand figures. So I'm just going to highlight the Scotland ones. I'm going to press F11 and I'm going to change this to a line. I'm going to pick this line. I'm going to say OK. Now this isn't that great. For a start, it doesn't have a title. Let's just pick this one. So in a chart title, let's be specific. So it is sales figures for Scotland. In the axis title, I know the sales figures are probably pretty obvious, but it's not obvious that they're in thousands. So let's write that down. So sales figures in thousands. And I think that makes it an awful lot easier to understand. So anybody looking at that would know that we're not talking about 500, but 500,000. This is absolutely useless. It tells us nothing. So click on it and right click. Select data. Then let's edit this data and get into our subtotals worksheet, pull this down so we can see what we're doing and let's put in the years and the quarters, that's much more useful access and say okay. Mm, it's beginning to look a lot better. 
one thing I'm not awfully keen on here is the series and I'm going to change that as well. So in here, I'm going to edit this and I'm just going to type sales and say OK and OK. So I think now we have a very, very useful chart. We know exactly what it is. We know what the figures are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this. The kind of thing you would need to write in a report is, for example, quarter one to quarter two, there is a fall, then an increase right through quarter three and quarter four. Then again, at the beginning of the year between quarter one and quarter two, it drops and again increases throughout the year until again in quarter one and quarter two, there is a fall and then an increase. It's the kind of thing you would need to write in a report. Let's see what the trend is. It's pretty obvious from this, it's an upward trend. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a trend line. Linear is fine for me. By all means, you know, try the others out, but linear is absolutely great for me. We knew this though, of course, but what you would need to say here is the trend line shows a significant upward trend. One last thing to do, I think chart two doesn't tell us an awful lot. So why don't we double click and just say Scotland trend and what we need to do now though is we need to, we have two areas and we want to be able to see what's happening in the in Wales so you would go back to here and you would highlight this and go through the whole process all over again so you'd have two charts and then at the end of that once you've written your report just saying about the general trends is there, is there an upward trend you would compare them which one has the more significant upward trend for example and that's us folks, that took us absolutely no time, very, very fast. And you get a huge amount of useful information.